Hey guys, so I recently uploaded this photo to my Instagram account and loads of you requested a hair tutorial on how to achieve this kind of beachy wave. And I'm gonna talk you through the products that I've used. I've washed my hair using the Kerastase Blonde Absolute, which has been designed to eradicate that brassy tone to any blondes in your hair. And if you've watched my hair care videos, you'll know that I always shampoo my hair twice and then condition it. The next product I always go in with is my Red Ken Extreme Anti-Snap. As you can see, I've got very long hair, so looking after it for me is super important. And because I do have bleach in my hair, I want to look after it the best I can. This is a great product for damaged and distressed hair. This also has heat protection in it because I usually blow dry my hair rather than waiting for it to air dry. So this is a great product to put in before I use my hair dryer. The next set of products I'm gonna use have been sponsored by IGK. It was actually after using this particular product, which is my hero product from IGK, that I contacted them about a collaboration. This is called Thirsty Girl and it's a coconut milk leave-in conditioner. Since I've been trying this, I've absolutely loved how my hair smells, how it feels, it's been absolutely brilliant. And this has a hyaluronic acid technology to lock in moisture and reduce frizz and as you can see you could be quite liberal with this product it really helps to keep that frizz under control and what I love most about IGK in general is that they are cruelty free they're vegan friendly there's no sulfates no paragons and their products are gluten free so I'm going in with my Faithful Tangle Teaser Brush. This one is a Denman brush and it's my favourite for getting through tangles. And as you can see, having used my Thirsty Girl Leave-In Conditioner, my hair is an absolute dream to comb through. You want to make sure that your hair is about 90% dry, so just a little bit damp, like ever so slightly. If it's too damp, it's going to be damp in the morning. My hair's naturally quite wavy, but my hairline tends to dry a little bit frizzy. So my tip is to use a hairdryer and smooth the cuticles out with a metal round brush. This way, I know that the front of my hair, when I take my plait out in the morning, is gonna be super smooth and I'm not gonna have any flyaways. This can be a completely heatless look. You don't have to use a hairdryer. You can leave your hair to dry naturally, but make sure you catch it at about 90% dry. So I'm just smoothing my fringe out. Once that's cooled in the brush, I take that out. And then this is the only section that's gonna be left out the plait. The two side sections that I've smoothed out will be pulled into the braid. So I just leave the rest of my hair to dry until it's about 90%, which is about now. As you can see, the majority of it looks dry, but to feel it does feel slightly cool where it is still a little bit damp. So if like me, you're leaving your fringe out, you can just pin that to the side or tuck it behind your ear. And then you want to flip your hair over and pull it into a ponytail that basically sits on the very top of your head. You're then gonna separate this into three individual sections and create a regular free strand braid. You don't wanna pull it super tight at the root. We do want a little bit of a baggy root because this is what's gonna create volume. If you tie it too tight, your hair's gonna be flat on top when you take your braid out. So then you just wanna continue that all the way down to the end. And you wanna leave about an inch and a half out at the bottom, otherwise it's gonna be super crinkly and probably a little bit fuzzy. So as I say, leave a little bit out and then tie that off with an elastic. So this is what you should look like. Your plait should start at the top of your head. Your roots should be slightly baggy. The back of your hair will bag a little bit, but don't worry, you're not going out anywhere. You're now going to be going to sleep. Okay, so it's now the morning. I have slept on my hair. As you can see, it's looking a tiny bit disheveled, but still relatively neat considering. So I'm gonna remove the elastic band and I'm going to gently unravel the braid. You wanna do this carefully because you don't want to make your hair frizzy. You just want to part it gently. And once it's completely unraveled, we're just gonna put our fingers into the root and give it a gentle shake. And you should have something that looks similar to this. Now, if your hair is naturally quite thin or you want to add a little bit more texture to your hair to make sure that these beautiful beachy waves don't fall flat, I'm going to use the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. This is literally holiday in a bottle. It smells incredible. All of their products do. But what's great about this is it's a bit like a salt spray, but it doesn't have any salt in it and it just adds texture to your hair. It's very weightless, it locks in moisture, and it helps to add volume, and it just keeps your kind of beachy waves separated, which makes them look really beautiful and almost windswept, but without that frizziness. I just love it. I'm now gonna show you some tips on maintaining this look for the next two days. So by day two, your hair can start to look a little bit frizzy, so when I'm wearing my hair like this, I've been reaching for the IGK Mistress Anti-Frizz Leave-In Conditioner and I've been combining it with the IGK Mixed Feelings, which are leave-in toning drops for those of you with blonde hair. 
So you simply add two to four drops to the balm, mix it together till you've got a really subtle violet shade and then you just work that through the lengths of your hair. The balm has a mix of coconut, shea butter and argan oil. As you can imagine, it smells incredible, but it also makes your hair feel so soft and super shiny. It allows your hair to bounce back into that really beautiful beachy wave and it's completely smoothed out all those flyaways. So by day three, your hair's gonna be feeling pretty flat. We've been sleeping on it, so it's inevitable. And your hair starts to look a little bit on the greasy side. So I'm gonna blast the roots with this product called First Class, also by AGK. And this is a heavy duty charcoal detox dry shampoo. The charcoal powder helps to absorb oil and it's also infused with white tea powder to soothe and strengthen hair. This is definitely one of the most volumizing dry shampoos I've ever used. Once you've sprayed the root, you need to wait 30 seconds and then get your fingers in there and give your hair a good old shake. I'd previously been using the other products of my own accord, but this was the product that IGK actually recommended and I said I wanted to create a tutorial and they said this is a great one for volume. And as you can see, they're not wrong. My hair no longer looks flat and it lasts all day. As I mentioned, it is a heavy duty dry shampoo, but it is for all hair types. To tame the mid lengths and the ends, I'm going back in with a small amount of the Mistress Balm. And you can see that I've used this two days on the trot and it's not made my hair look greasy at all. There's no visible product buildup. I thought I'd show you a super quick updo if you're fed up with wearing your hair down by day three. A voluminous ponytail works a treat. So I've whipped my hair up into a ponytail and now I'm using a bungee cord to tie my hair off. Sometimes if you use a toggle, you lose volume at the root. So this is a great way to get your hair up without losing the volume. Then I take a strand of my own hair from the back of my ponytail and I wrap that around the bungee just to disguise it. Then going back in with my Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray I'm separating the ponytail and just blasting that through to create some volume and texture to create a really big beachy ponytail. And that completes my hair tutorial, I hope you've enjoyed it. A huge thank you to IGK for sponsoring this tutorial. I will list all the products below as to where you can buy them and if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!